Hello everyone, this is Strawberry Singh and today I'm going to be talking to you about a special Second Life project called Bakes on Mesh. I love the fact that Linden Lab continues to work on new features to improve Second Life even after 15 years. That's right, Second Life is going to be 15 in June. And recently they did a blog post. I'm just going to pull that up for you. So in this blog post, they shared 15 reasons to celebrate Second Life. The number 14 was Bakes on Mesh. So I'm going to talk a little bit about Bakes on Mesh today. Uh, but before I begin, everything that you see me wearing today and everything that I'm going to be talking about in this video and any links and websites and so forth that I share will be linked in my blog post and written out completely in my blog post and you'll find a link to that in the description of the video. So do click on over for even more information than what I'm about to share here. So Bakes on Mesh is a new feature that has not gone live yet. It is not in the main viewer as of yet. Linden Lab first announced it, uh, that they were starting to work on it about a year ago and now it is in a special project viewer that you will need to download right now if you want to play with it right now, okay? If you want to try it out. And I'll explain how it works. I will do another blog post once it does hit the main viewer because things will change from what I'm about to show you in this video. In this video, what I'm gonna be showing you is a workaround on how to, how Max, Bakes, Bakes on Mesh will probably look, but it's not exactly how Bakes on Mesh will work. So uh, I don't want this video to confuse you guys, but I'm just tr showing it to you because I know there's so many people excited about it and they're uh, trying to understand it and there's a lot of misinformation that's going around. So I'm trying to use this video to show you what's going on and also explain what will go on in the future, hopefully. So basically what Bakes on Mesh will do is it will allow us to use system avatar baked textures like skins and cosmetics and tattoo layers and alpha layers and so forth and it will allow us to use it on any mesh body part so we won't need any appliers in the future this is a game changer and this will really have an impact on how we wear skins and clothing and and tattoos and cosmetics on our uh, different body parts like mesh heads and mesh bodies once this goes live uh, and you could, it, it'll really change a lot of things, especially if you are one that, that was very attached to older skins. Uh, and also if you want something more convenient than constantly opening up HUDs and using appliers and different things, you just have to wear the system layers and it will automatically get applied to the mesh body parts. This new feature has not been released yet. It's, it's, um, I want to make that very clear. It's not live yet. It's still in the project viewer only. It's still being worked on and it probably will be worked on for the next several months. Uh, I think Kathy Foyle said that she can see it up to, uh, being released in maybe up to about, about six months. So this will take time to get released, but hopefully this year we'll see it happening. So I'm going to share some information about it. Basically what Bakes on Mesh will do, it will let us put texture on the face of a mesh of any mesh object uh, not just body parts but also clothing uh, and that I'm not going to go into today because um, you can't do that until it goes live uh, so um, I'm not going to show that today but I, sh I will show how it will go on mesh body parts uh, and then of course this will you know get rid of any appliers uh, we won't have the need for onion avatars like all these different layers we have on our mesh bodies with the skin layer and the and the, and the makeup layer and the hair base layer and whatever all these layers that we have will not be necessary because um, with bakes on mesh we we are able to apply up to 62 layers uh, system layers on our on our mesh body parts so uh, it will give a lot of options um, and I'm not going to show you how it will work once it goes live because I'm not able to do that as of yet since it's not live and since the, my mesh body parts have not been updated for Bakes on Mesh as of yet and I'm assuming a lot of the designers and creators will do that once it does go live. So I can't show you on how you go about doing it this way but I will show you the Omega way that is kind of the workaround that's going on right now. There is a lot of stuff, uh, information, I'm going to link to this uh, wiki page of it. I'm going to link to the feedback thread which you can you read. I kind of skimmed it a little bit. Uh, there's a lot of people in there that I don't think understand how beneficial it will be in the future uh, but you can read it and, and check it out but uh, you know make sure you read like what the Lindens are saying because obviously 
obviously what they're saying is going to be more accurate. And also what Kathy Foyle is saying because she seems to have more information about um, this project because she goes to the content um, content creator group meetings and so forth. Uh, and I will also have a link to that so you can go to those group meetings as well. So what's happening right now is a, a, a Omega HUD has been released, which is a workaround. Um, and you can use this HUD right now if you download the project viewer and you can apply old system layers to any mesh, mesh body part that is Omega compatible right now. So this is a workaround HUD. It's 125 linens. I have purchased it. I will show you how to use it in this video, but I do want to make it clear that this is now not how bakes on mesh will work when it goes live. Once it goes live, you won't need to use this HUD. Um, as long as all the creators up there update their mesh body parts to work with bakes on mesh so for those creators that don't update right away you can continue to use this hud now, once the creators update you won't even need to use a sudden and i feel like in the future probably omega might even go obsolete if everybody has updated their parts and we're all using system layers uh, I, I i have a feeling that omega will absolutely go obsolete but for now this is a great workaround for those creators that don't update right away once it goes live and so forth. So please do understand that this is not how Bakes on Mesh will work exactly, uh, but you can get it to work right now if you want to try it out. I'm gonna. I have um, also, um, you know, bought this. I'm gonna try it on right now. I do want to also let you know that City and Monroe of Sling has done a very informative and excellent blog post talking about Bakes on Mesh and has brought up some really good points. I'm not going to talk about everything that she um, mentions here because it's because it's a little too technical for you know um, my what I usually talk about. So you can I'm going to link to her post and you can check it out. Uh, I have mentioned a few things that she has also uh, talked about. So I'm going to link to this post. I'm going to link to Kathy Foyle's video, an excellent video. It's just like a she talks about uh, more uh, gives an introduction to Bakes on Mesh. So check all that out. So right now what I'm going to do. Is I'm gonna show you how you can use uh, the Bakes on Mesh, pro Mesh project viewer, which I have right now. I'm not in Firestorm right now. I'm in the project viewer, and use this H Omega HUD. I've purchased it and I've attached it. This is what it looks like uh, in order to try on some older skins and cosmetics to see how they look on your mesh body parts. Currently, I am wearing the Matreya mesh body and the Katwa Katya head. I have tried this Omega HUD on the Slink body, on the Matreya body, and it works on both bodies beautifully. I have also tried it on Katwa heads, on Luluka heads, on Logo heads, on Vista heads, and, and, LAC, and on LAC heads. And it, they were, it, this works on all of these heads beautifully because all of these heads are Omega compatible. Before you begin, you want to attach your Omega relay HUDs for the mesh body parts you're wearing. So I'm wearing the Katwa head. So I have the Omega Relay head for the Katwa, and then I'm wearing the Matreya body, and I have the Omega Relay head for the Matreya. So I'm wearing those, I'm wearing the Baked On Mesh um, uh, Omega HUD. So I'm all set, and I've downloaded the viewer, and I'm using the viewer. So those are the first three steps that you want to do uh, before you start. So next thing you want to do is you want to remove the alpha layer that you're wearing, all alpha layers that you're wearing. Because what happens is if you don't remove the alpha layers, uh, it will go, it will not show properly because what it does is when the skin is baked on mesh body parts, it alphas, alphas out the underneath the system layer. So it's assuming that the mesh body part is a system layer. I hope I'm not confusing you guys by explaining this. <laughs> I'm trying to make it as simple as possible, but I don't, I don't know uh, if I'm explaining it properly. Um, but I'll show you. I won't remove, I'm wearing this full body avatar uh, layer to hide my system skin. I won't remove it just to show you what, what it does. So if I don't remove it, and if I go to some of my older skins, and if I put on my old, um, I'm already wearing it, my old Catra skin. Right now I'm wearing a Glam Affair applier for Katwa. I'm wearing the Glam Affair Wendy applier, okay? It's currently probably at the main store. It was recently released a couple of weeks ago, okay? I don't know where it would be right now. It was at an event, but it could be at the Glamour Fair main store. So I'm wearing that one right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to an older skin. This is a, the Catra skin. I, I got this skin back in, I think, what was it? 2015, okay? Uh, this is pre-mesh heads and so forth. So I'm going to wear this skin. I've already worn it. 
and I'm gonna apply it using this Omega HUD. And it's gonna apply the skin to the Omega layer of my mesh body and my mesh head, right? Um, because I'm wearing the Omega Relay HUD. So it went red. And um, sorry, I'm, I haven't turned off all my sounds in this new viewer. <laughs> so please excuse me if you have, hear any I am or money sounds or anything. So I've applied it and it went red. The reason it went red is because I am still wearing the alpha layer. So I need to go back and I need to remove the, al the full body alpha. Once I remove it, uh, you'll see what the body will look like. So this is the old skin that I've just applied to using the Omega Bake on, Bakes on Mesh HUD onto my mesh body parts. So you see that? This is a really old skin from 2015. So I'm gonna go back to my skins section i'm going to apply a few more skins to give you an idea now you can apply up to 64 layers system layers so i'm going to apply this details sora skin uh which gosh when did i buy this one i got this one back in 2015 as well okay so again pre-mesh let's uh put that on so this is the sora skin uh from details from 2015 and you'll see it applies to the mesh body and mesh head at the same time, now we don't have to go around looking for matching appliers to match our bed, heads and bodies. When Bakes on Mesh gets released and all of the body parts are updated by the creators, all we have to do is wear the skin layers, the, the system layers, and they will automatically apply to the bodies. And you'll notice that I don't need alpha layers. Um, I The only alpha layer that I'm actually wearing uh, is for my lashes and my eyes because I'm wearing mesh eyes and I wanted to hide my system eyes. This is the only alpha layer I'm wearing. So if I remove this alpha layer, um, I'm just, this is a free alpha layer that I picked up at the Mayfly store. If I remove this alpha layer, what's gonna happen is my mesh eyes won't show properly. See, my, my mesh eyes get messed up. Uh, so that's why I'm, and you'll see some slight system lashes over here. So that's why I'm, I'm only wearing an alpha layer to help with the mesh eyes right now. I think if I applied, uh, a system um, skin on this mesh it might work on the mesh eyes and I might not even have to wear it but I would still wear it for the alpha layer now it's not um, resing for me so I'm just gonna kind of reload the textures real quick so I'm gonna try on a few more skins just to give you an idea and I'll tell you when I acquired these skins so you know uh, the next skin I want to show you guys is from new faces this skin I got in 2015 as well Again, pre-mesh heads and all that. And again, it's applying to both the head and the body um, at the same time. So once this gets updated, it's gonna be so much more convenient. We're not gonna have to struggle with heads anymore uh, or any of that. Now I'm trying on the Laura Hurley skin. Again, I think this is from 2014. Okay, this one's even older. Really gorgeous, applied to the body. Uh, next one I wanna try is the Skinnery. This, ha this one is pretty old. Uh, I think this one is like probably 2014 as well. Yeah, 2014 as well. That's when I got this one. Uh, I'm just gonna try it. Really pretty. And uh, League Gen. So, you know, if there are older skins that you miss wearing, you can try them out on different mesh heads and see which one it works with. Uh, League Gen was one of my favorite skins back in the day. Uh, this is from 2012. I used to wear it all the time. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And uh, it looks kind of cool on, on this head. Um, not everything's always going to match perfectly. Like the lips might be off and so forth. But this one actually works really well. And you can try it you know, on different heads as well. If you have a different head. Um, I've tried it on all the other different heads. Like I've tried on Luluka and Logo like I mentioned earlier. And it works great. Um, so I'll show you some YSYS skins right now. This is Sam. Uh, let's do the nude skin here. So this, these are very old skins. This one is from 2014 as well. So this is YSYS Sam. I don't even know if any of these skins are still in their stores. Now let's go back to Dutch Touch. Dutch Touch used to be one of my most favorite skins back in the day. And it's not even in Second Life anymore. Uh, and I used to wear the, these skins all the time. Uh, now they've closed down. So this, the skin that I'm about to show you, you can't even purchase anymore. But I still have it because, you know, I'm an SL hoarder. <laughs> and I rarely delete anything. 
So look at this Dutch Chef skin that I got in 2010. Look how it looks on this skin, on this mesh head and this mesh body. Now the lips don't match perfectly, but maybe I could apply and apply a lipstick over it. Oh yes, that's another thing I forgot to tell you guys. I forgot to show you guys. So let's say we, um, let's look at the Laura Hurley. She has a lot of um, different layers here. I can wear all of these layers if I want. I can add all of these and it will apply on over it. Remember, you can add up to 64 or is it 62? I think it's 64, 62 layers. Uh, so let's put on some more eyeshadow. And uh, we got the mold down here. We got the eyeshadow. Well, obviously this is the not right skin tone. So I'm gonna wear the Laura Hurley skin again. There's that one. I'm gonna add the smoky and let's add a nude lipstick. So look at these are all the layers that I'm wearing. I can wear up to 62 layers. There's the nude lipstick over it and maybe I wanna add the burgundy lipstick over it. Uh, you know, you can mix and match. You can have blush and freckles and different brows and so on and so forth. So you can go crazy with all the layers uh, and, and you know, layer on top. I can add a, all oh right, I can add tattoos. So let me open up some tattoos. Uh, let's see. So let's try Lettuce Tattoo. Lettuce Tattoo is great because he always not only has all the appliers to the bodies, but he always gives his tattoo layers and system layers as well. So if you own any Lettuce Tattoo layers, you're all set to go to use them uh, for, um, you know, um, one bakes on mesh kits release. So I'm going to put on this Diwali black one and let's do 50%. I'm just going to add that and I think it comes on, it should be some, some on the chest area. Yeah. So there you go, applied the tattoo there. I don't know if you can see that. And to take it off, all I have to do is just take it off and it'll come off automatically. And there you go. Uh, there are lettuce tattoos that go on the, uh, the neck and sometimes the face and the head and so forth. All of it will be uh, um, added automatically um, just, you know, just, by, just by wearing the system layer. So you can wear tattoos. Uh, let me look up some old, I don't have a lot of old system clothes yet. The only clothes so some clothes that I've saved is Zara's. I've saved every single item of Zara's that I've ever had because I just love everything she's ever made. So I have some really old clothing. Like I have some system clothing of hers. So let's try, uh, I don't know, let's try this Sayona Kur Kurta. And I'm gonna put it on, uh, I'm gonna put on the forest one. So this is the clothing layer. Uh, so it's gonna, it's gonna probably apply something on my chest here. This is the shirt. See, you can see it right here. You see the, the kurta? She's wearing it. Um, and let me take it off and then you'll, I don't know if you guys, let me zoom in properly, sorry. I'm not, so, I'm so not used to this viewer. <laughs> Can't wait until when the, uh, when the Firestorm viewer gets. So I'm gonna take it off so you'll see where it was applied once it comes off, see, there we go. So it, clothing layers are working. Uh, so you can use old system clothing uh, to, you know, add, Kind of looks cool with this outfit if I, if I want to keep it, um, you know, I can do that. So we can, you know, go back to layering again. We can wear system clothing underneath our mesh outfits, uh, go back to layering and, and all sorts, all sorts. It'll really open up our options. Now, I'm not going to really wear like older skins like this with my mesh heads because, uh, you know, I feel like uh, since then there's the quality has vastly increased in in what the designers are making like i know that laura hurley has released skins these days that are even better quality than this one uh so i'm probably not going to go back and wear a lot of my older skins maybe dutch touch because i sometimes i miss it uh, and it's not available anymore so if i really want to look different from everybody else on the grid i can wear a dutch set skin because you know it's not available but um but i think what it's going to do is going to really open up our uh our options for layering for wearing whatever skins we want and more than anything it's gonna you know get rid of all the different huds that we have to apply to use to you know using the catwa hud and putting trying to figure out which upper layer to put on the eyebrow and which lower layer to put on the freckles and all this confusion that i i try i showed in my catwa crash course video um, now just put on the layers and they'll get applied over and over depending on which one you put on first. Uh, so it's, 
it's gonna be great. Uh, and I think uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, getting uh, skins in the future, great quality skins that are just on system layers and you just wear it, the system layer, you don't need any HUDs. You don't need to apply any appliers, just wear it and it will automatically show up on your mesh body parts. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, and that's it. So that's kind of how Bakes on Mesh will work. And again, this is just a workaround for it right now using this HUD. Uh, so I hope that doesn't confuse you guys. Don't think that you will have to use this HUD forever. The only time you'll need to use this HUD is if an Omega compatible mesh body part is not updated by the creator to work with Bakes on Mesh. But I think a lot of them will update pretty pretty much right away because it saved on, saves on resources. It makes life simpler. I know City and Mineral of Slink is already on it. She's already going to the content group meetings. She's already uh, working on updating her body to work with Bakes on Mesh. So I think Slink bodies will be one of the first ones to be updated. So if you own those, you'll be all set and you'll be ready to use it once it hits. And again, it's probably gonna take several months. I'm thinking like six months, that's what Kathy Foyle says. So I'm gonna quote her cause she's, you know, <laughs> she's on top of all of that stuff. But you know, this is something to look forward to. This is a great feature that Linden Lab is going to add. It's gonna make it so much more convenient for everybody. I know that there is an issue with materials uh, that materials is not gonna be included in this, in the first release, but I think they're looking to update that in future so you can use materials as well but for now you can still use appliers to apply the materials and so forth and i think kathy foyle goes into that in her video which i will link to from my blog post and i think uh slink uh city and mineral also talked about that a little bit as well so that was it that was uh something to look forward to bakes on mesh keep an eye on that when it does go live uh, in the main viewer and it's working and, pe and the content creators have updated their mesh body parts, I will definitely do another video and show you how to get it to work uh, the, the right way, not this workaround way. Uh, so, you know, keep a look out, a look at, look out for that in the next few months. Um, unless they decide to do it in July, I won't, I will not be here in the month of July. I'm going on a uh, big vacation uh, my husband and I so uh, I won't be here in the month of July I won't be doing any videos or anything but I'll, I'll do it um, as soon as I get back uh, so looking forward to that thank you so much Linden Lab for this new feature uh, I think it will make uh, the life of a lot of content creators and us consumers as well a lot easier I'm, I'm looking forward to just wearing the system layers in the future and that's it guys I uh, hope I wasn't too confusing for you I hope you understand everything I said Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click over to the blog post for more information. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll be back soon with more videos. Bye guys.